guys, hello, I am vlogging. Um, I'm doing it on my phone because I got the iPhone X purely for the camera and if I wanted to do vlogs. My skin right now on the camera looks really, really bad. So I'm really sorry if it like actually looks like that on the computer. Like it looks like speckled. Well, look at the light. It looks like speckled, really weird. But I have just got out the shower. I've just woken up, got out the shower. I'm just gonna pop you on here. Is that gonna work? I'm gonna myself a cup of tea because I need tea and I've stopped drinking coffee pretty much because because I've got anxiety and it has actually really helped ignore my half wallpaper in the kitchen I'm literally in the middle of doing it I ran out of wallpaper pretty stupid and woke up had a shower brushed my teeth came downstairs uh went to make my cup of tea and then realized oh I'm vlogging today I've also had a delivery um so we'll open that later but currently I have got half an hour to get ready before I need to go out because I'm going food shopping. My eyes look so sore. I've got like really dry eyes. So when I'm asleep, like, just gotta. So when I'm asleep, my eyes water really badly and then they end up being like really puffy and like just looking how they do right now, which isn't cute. Um, yeah, so. I need to go food shopping and then it's my friend's birthday meal at like 12 and I need to get my car clean, I need to tidy the house, so today's just going to be crazy. Hey guys, so, oh my god, my eyes look so bad. Um, I've just got back from the shop and I've just unpacked everything. Can you flip this around? I don't think so. But yeah, just got back from the shop, I shop at Aldi if you're wondering and yeah, I'll give you a quick overview of what I got. <laughs> so I just got some dog food, washing powder, washing gel, like dog bones. And then I've got like smoothies, orange juice, not a vegetarian anymore if you're wondering. So I've got some chicken, ham, grapes, bagels. I keep my bread and bagels in the fridge when it's summertime so it doesn't go off. Coleslaw, um, soup, like sandwich fillers, yogurt, cream cheese, strawberries, uh, some halloumi fries, some potatoes, some more potato things, uh, pizzas, chicken stuff. And then I've got like potatoes, pasta, chocolate bars, uh, oil to make chips, breakfast bars, and just stuff like that. And now I'm going to put it all away. Hey guys, so I have just gotten home. Um, I've been out all day. It's like... Uh six now pretty much and i'm gonna go open that package that i told you about earlier it's from decenio i literally love decenio if you guys don't know what it is they're like amazing pictures all of these pictures are decenio right here they're all decenio have them all around my house i'll show you in a second how many pictures i have from them these are all decenio i love them and i've just got a new order in this huge box Let's go get it open. I love Desenio. They're amazing. Which way does this? Let's try this way. Literally, I just love Desenio. I have a discount code if you guys are interested, which I will put on the screen right now. You should definitely check it out. If you haven't looked at pictures and stuff like that already, look at how expensive pictures, frames, everything like that. Look how expensive they are. Desenio are so cheap and the quality is just outstanding. Amazing. I love them. Look how huge this frame is. Oh my god. It's massive. This is to go in the office. I think. I think that's where I want it, to go in the office. I did think about having it up there, but I think the office is probably the best place. Here are my pictures in this tube. I get all of the frames in rose gold, but I do love the gold ones as well. I'm starting to kind of lean towards gold more than rose gold at the moment. I'm kind of thinking I want them in here instead of the office, because I don't spend that much time in the office. So, hmm, what to do, what to do, but I don't think I'll fit all of these in this room. Who knows, who knows? These pictures are 
pictures are just gorgeous. So this is like a rose, like, I don't think, it's not a rose, I think it's like a cassettia, that's how you say it. Gorgeous. Okay, so this is the first one. How beautiful, I love it. I just love it. These pictures are just amazing. But honestly, it baffles me how quick deliveries are nowadays. Like, this came from like, I think it came from Germany, I'm pretty sure. And it got here in like a few days. And I ordered a phone case on Amazon earlier. Like I'm looking like, let's say 12 o'clock, I ordered a phone case and it's gonna be here before 10 p.m. tonight. Insane, literally insane. I ordered a new rug for this room earlier today. If you're wondering why this room is so bare on the floor, it's because I I bought a rug and then I was <clears throat> my mom went on holiday, so I had her dog for a week, and uh, she just caused havoc. She spilled like a cup of hot chocolate on the rug, and I was just like, oh my god, Lola, I'm gonna kill you. Like a brand new rug. She, like there was a hot chocolate on that coffee table in like a what's it called a travel mug and she just like knocked it off because she was trying to eat it because she's a little pig. Oh my god, this frame is so big. I'm really struggling to get it in. But how? Oh my god, how beautiful is that? That is just absolutely stunning. Look at that. Wow. So my idea is the two flowers each side and then this one in the middle in black and white and it, I think it's just gonna look gorgeous. I, uh, I can't put it up tonight because I need help. Cause they're so big. I usually put it up myself if they were smaller but they're huge so I do need help. So I need my friend to come around so you can check their level and everything. But part of me really wants them in here. Like really badly. So, I don't know what to do. I feel like it would fit on that wall as well, but I just don't know if I'm gonna look stupid on that. Look how nice it is. I want it where everybody can appreciate it, like not just the office, because I don't really let people in the office, because there's like stuff in there that I don't want people seeing. But yeah, Desenio, amazing. Definitely check it out. Honestly, I have worked with them so many times because I just, I love them. I genuinely think they're one of the best brands that have come out. A lot of YouTubers talk about them just because they're so amazing. Like, I love artwork and it is so pricey. It is so, so pricey. I was looking in Ikea the other day at pictures and stuff like that. And I thought, oh my God. Like, it's not even just pricey. Like, a lot of it's overpriced. Like, honestly. I'm not talking about, like, original prints because if, if someone's just printing something once, Obviously that's going to be expensive because it's a one of a kind, but if someone photographs something and then they sell it over and over and over again and they're selling it for like, I don't know, like £100 a time, that's expensive. Is any of so reasonable, like even the huge pictures, like even that one that I just showed you wasn't even that expensive. And that's 70 by 100 centimetres. I'll show you the pictures all put up tomorrow, but right now I'm going to show you all the decennio I have in my house because there's so many. Because I hate when people think that I'm like lying about sponsorships and that I don't actually like the brand. But let me just show you how many Desenio pictures I have in my house because I love them so much. And my friend, he has loads of Desenio pictures in his house as well because I got him a gallery wall as a present because he loves art too and I knew he'd love some of the stuff. Okay, let's go look at everything in my house that's from Desenio. Okay, starting in the lounge, we have this entire wall. Ignore the mess in here, I've got like, I need to tidy up. Then we've got this one in here. And then if you come out here and into the dining room, we've got all these New York ones. And then that's like a New York themed wall. And then in here we've got a herbs one. We've got a little water one. I'm in the middle of wallpapering, I think I mentioned that. And then this one, which is also blue. And let's go upstairs. In my bedroom, excuse the mess, I have all of these up here. And then I also have these three up here. I love this any There's so much in my house. It's literally everywhere. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I've got going on. Honestly, you guys ask me to vlog all the time, like literally all the time. And I kind of want to vlog. I don't want to vlog too often for reasons that I've mentioned before, but I kind of want to vlog, 
but I also don't want to vlog. Does that make any sense? Probably not. But also, I've got nothing to vlog about. Like, I'm not doing anything for the rest of the evening. This needs to go in the bin. Um, I'm not doing anything for the rest of the evening. And, like, I don't know. Like, my life isn't that interesting. And a lot of things I can't vlog. So it's just kind of like, what do I do? But I'm going to make myself some dinner. Probably just, like, a sandwich or something. Or, like, a bagel. I'm not massive, but I kind of want soup. I want soup, but I also want some coleslaw, so I don't really know what to do. But literally, I'm gonna make myself dinner and then do the washing, and I feel like that's boring. Is that just boring to you guys? Like, I don't know, I'm not even gonna watch that. But I get requests to do vlogs all the time, like literally all the time. I think my most requested video is like vlogs. Like I went on Twitter a few minutes ago, and someone tweeted me saying, oh my God, when are you gonna stop vlogging? Are you gonna stop vlogging again? Like, it's my most questioned thing. You know what I mean? So, like, whoop. So, I don't know. I feel like, do I vlog? Do I vlog? I don't know. Good morning, guys. I've just woken up. Um, I'm basically looking really red on camera. Uh, not in real life. Hey, you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've just woken up. My face is really puffy. Um, I get a really puffy face when I'm, like, when I've been asleep. So, I have to, like, do these, like, facial exercises. I need to buy, like, one of those, like, cupping things so I can use that um but yeah I wash my face with cold water and then it usually solves it so if you wake up with a puffy face too maybe try that but today I'm really busy um I'm gonna get up drop the dogs off at like my dog sitters and then I'm off to London to do some work with uh Hilton Hotels and then I'm going like for food and I'm going to see the like production Chicago. You guys have probably heard of the film. If you haven't watched it, it's really good. It took me like, I was like years late to the bandwagon of watching it, but it was really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of getting myself sorted for that. Um, I'm like taking a few like promotional photos for the Hilton Hotel uh, at Zion Park. Which is cool because it's such a lovely hotel. I'm really excited for it because I think the like pictures are gonna turn out really nicely. Uh, but I'll show you when I'm there. And yeah, I'm really excited. But it is about oh, I woke up at half past six. It's probably quarter to seven now because I've replied to a few emails and played with Bentley a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna go make myself some tea and tidy the house because I don't want to come back. It's not a mess. It's just not like. 100 percent my hands are a little bit orange which i'm a little bit ooh, about they don't look as bad in like they don't look bad in real life on camera they look a little bit like uh dodgy but in real life they look fine i used a new tan yesterday and i really like the way it's turned out um but yeah i'm rambling now so i'm gonna tidy up my myself some tea my myself some breakfast and then i'll talk to you yeah. she's a, like a vma or something and she had like an ice cream cart with a huge pole on it guys so i have just woken up um well i haven't just woken up i woke up about half of an hour ago i guess and i've just been kind of replying to messages and stuff like that this morning because i've had quite a few um so yeah today is the vets for this little one you going to the vets he doesn't know what that means yet but he soon will and i don't think he's gonna like that word in the future um He's just having like his boosters and um, just like a little checkup and like stuff like that. And he's also having like a um, like a flea protection treatment, like so that he can't get fleas. Like you know when they give him that. I don't know what it is to be honest, but I asked about it. Where they give them that stuff and then it kind of if a flea lands on them, it just kind of dies. It kind of repels them. Um, because he has had fleas in the past and it was a nightmare to get rid of 
and I feel like they might be like in my garden because my next door neighbor, her cat had fleas. So I feel like it's just in the garden. So if anybody knows what to do about that, like if you've got like fleas like in your garden that keep landing on your pet, let me know because I'm kind of like struggling. Do I put like, I don't even know what to spray. Like I'm sure there's like a spray, like a bug repellent spray or something like that. But um, yeah, it's just been a little bit of a nightmare to be honest. So I'm getting that like flea repellent spray. He's getting a flea treatment to make sure if there's any left on him, they're gone. And a flea like repellent thingy. So he just doesn't get them again. And I think he has to have that once a month. Uh, I'm nervous for him because he's not gonna like the vets. But I'm also needing to tidy up because my bed's a mess. I've got a bowl there and um, a glass and it's a little bit, oh wait, I've changed my room around. I might show you, um, but yeah, need to tidy up. It's a complete mess, but I'll talk to you in a little bit. So yeah. Hey guys, so I've been up for a little bit longer now. I've tidied my bedroom and we tried to go downstairs and get some food. I'm not sure whether to feed Bentley yet in case he gets really nervous at the vets. No one said not to feed him, but like, I'm afraid he's gonna get really nervous. So, it always looks like I've got a mustache. I'm gonna film it on my phone, weird. Bentley, come on. So yeah, you haven't seen my new stairs either. There's a lot you haven't seen. Um, so, plan of action for today is basically just like work stuff because I was in London yesterday and I didn't vlog much of it just because I get nervous vlogging in public, especially when I've left it so long. Um, so yeah, that is why I don't vlog much in London. I just get really nervous. But <coughs> today is just work stuff and ignore my half wallpapered wall. I keep forgetting to buy new wallpaper. I don't know how, but I every time I forget to get it, so I need to order it. I only think about it when I look at it, and I never have my laptop with me when I'm looking at it. We'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. I'm absolutely starving. I need to, like, get dressed and brush my teeth and all that jazz. Um, oh, yeah, did I say? I watched Chicago in London, which was amazing. I really enjoyed it. It was so good. Like, it was just really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I love going to the theatre and stuff like that. It's, like, my favourite thing. Um, I just love... I love singing. I don't know if any of you guys know that about me, but I absolutely love singing. Sorry. Um, I don't know if anybody knows that about me, but I just absolutely love singing. It's my favourite thing. And I feel like my voice is kind of like a theatre voice like you wouldn't get into the charts with a voice like mine because I'm not good at singing like pop songs I'm good at singing songs like from the sound of music or just like those songs like Mamma Mia I can sing those songs really well um but I don't have like a chart voice just like a I have a theatre voice I guess that's the best way to put it um I'll show you my lounge. Fingers crossed Bentley hasn't ruined it, but this is my lounge at the moment. It's really cute. So this is my lounge right now. I think it looks really, really cute. I got this huge rug from TK Maxx and that's Bentley's little toy box over here. It's got all this stuff in it, but he never plays with it. Like he doesn't even want that bone. He just doesn't want it. But yeah, this is the lounge. It looks really good. I'm so happy with it. Um, this rug's really good to take like nail pictures on. It needs a hoover though because there's like a few little bits on it. But yeah, this is the lounge. This is from Decenio, by the way. You can use that same discount code that I mentioned at the beginning um, to grab that. But yeah, I still need to put these up as well. But yeah, that's the lounge. Bentley thinks there's some food in there. What you found, baby? It's like, I don't know, Mom. Hi. You're so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. You gonna come? Come on then. Um, please ignore the mess in the background. I've only just woken up. It's quite early and also my face is ten times darker than the rest of my body Because when I go to sleep I fake tan my face so I can sleep in it 
and then in the morning I'll like break down the rest of me so I'll do that later but today I'm just kind of getting ready to go out and work um I've got a lot of work stuff to do it it feels like it's really really busy at the moment so I'm up quite early uh I've been up since 7.30 and I'm just getting ready now um so yeah I thought I'd let you guys know how my morning's going um I'm probably just gonna have breakfast um there so I'm not gonna have to bother with that this morning um so yeah that's what's going on haven't really been using primer lately i bought the uh smashbox photo finish primer but if i'm honest i haven't been the biggest fan like it makes my foundation come off in like little tiny balls like if i rub my face too hard when i'm putting my foundation on once i've put this primer on like my face is just weird like it just doesn't make any sense like my foundation starts coming off and also i'm having to wear so much makeup at the moment because i don't know if you can see but all here and all here i've got a rash because i waxed my face okay so let's tell you a story i am not very hairy at all like i'm not a very hairy person i don't struggle with that i'm just not hairy in general like i just I don't have facial hair that much i just have a little bit that kind of annoys me and uh i thought you know what i've only got a little bit of it so i should probably just wax it because it won't even be that painful like and it does irritate me a little bit so i thought you know what i'll just wax it off and then like i'll be sorted so here i am i melt all the wax i put it on my face rip it off and i'm like ah that hurt and then I wait a few hours and my face is so itchy, like all here looks so itchy. And I'm like, oh man, what is that? So I'm a little bit like, okay, this isn't good. This isn't good. I'm not enjoying this. So my face is really itchy and then I'm like, okay, I need to put fake tan on my face before I go to sleep because this was like a week ago. Um, so I put the fake tan on my face and I notice as I'm doing it that I've got these like red spots and when this happened it looked like cystic acne like you see all those pictures <coughs> sorry you see all those pictures of like cystic acne and stuff and that is genuinely what this looked like on my face and I was like oh my god like have I just waxed my face and triggered spots because I've never been a spotty person like when I was a kid and like teenage, like young teenage years, I suffered with my skin a little bit. I didn't suffer, but my, I didn't have perfectly clear skin my entire life. Like that is not how it went. Um, I didn't have bad skin. I just had, I think normal skin for a teenager going through puberty. That's what I had. And you know, even those spots annoyed me because I just wasn't used to it and my hair's really annoying me too but like yeah I didn't have bad skin or anything like that when I was younger so then I come out in all this and I'm like oh my god the reason I didn't have it as a kid is because I'm getting like adult acne and I was like oh my god what is going on so then I'm like having a bit of a meltdown I'm like asking everybody if this has ever happened to them and everybody's like no that's weird I'm losing it so then I start googling and there are so many people on google like oh my god yeah this happened to me don't wax your face like it brings you out in this huge rash it gave me this blah 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 with like pictures and I was like oh my god that's what I've got so I've just realized that uh I'm don't wax your face that is the moral of this story that is why I'm telling you about this don't do it like maybe go to somewhere to have it done so that they know what they're doing but honestly my mom's a beautician and i've seen her wax a million times like i know what you do you put it on in the direction of the hair and you rip it off in the opposite direction of the hair growth like i knew what i was doing and that still happened and my face was clean i'd washed it i'd taken all my makeup off like my face was completely clean and that still happened so I don't really know what to say. Like, I don't know why it happened. 
but apparently it's happened to other people as well and yeah i just thought i'd let you know because nobody wants that nobody wants a huge rash on their face there were literally women on there like oh my god it's my wedding day tomorrow and i've got this huge rash on my face and blah blah, blah. and i was like oh my god imagine imagine if you waxed your like the hair off your face the day before your wedding and then you came out in that rush i would be devastated Hey guys, so I have just got home. I'm finding it really difficult to vlog like during the day. So I think I'm just gonna keep it to like evenings and stuff like that and just vlog as like little clips like I did today for you because it's just really hard because there's lots of people there and I just feel really uncomfortable in two seconds, I'm opening the door. Yeah, so I'm just finding it really difficult, but I'm home now, as you can see. Um, I really need to finish wallpapering, like that just looks ridiculous. Um, but I'm home now, I've got a lot of tidying to do. I'm gonna go get Chuck in a second. This is gonna be a really good way for you guys to see how often I have Chuck, because he's literally here all the time. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get Chuck in a second, and he's just gonna come over and we're gonna chill. Uh, he's not gonna have a super light one, like usual. When he's at mine, he usually, uh, he usually has a pretty light. But yeah, I'm just hiding up a little bit while he like packs his bag. He's literally so funny. I'll tell you in two seconds, hold on. He's literally the funniest kid in the world. Like he, he just does the most hilarious things ever. Like I messaged my mom and said, hey, does Chuck wanna like come over and chill with me? And uh, she was like, he's in bed watching something on YouTube. So call him on Lauren's phone, who's my sister because, um, I pay for Lauren's phone contract so she can have a phone um, and he borrows that when she's at her dad's house because she's not allowed to take her phone there. Um, so I was like, call him on Lauren's phone because he's in bed watching it. And I call him and he's like, hey, what do you want? I'm doing something. I was like, hey, cheeky. <laughs> do you want to come to mind? And he was like, uh, no. I was like, all right then. I see how it is. I see how it is, Chuckleberry. And, uh... Then my mom just called me and was like, the reason he doesn't want to come is because he don't let him watch TV in bed. <laughs> so if he's allowed to bring Lauren's phone and watch TV in bed, then he wants to come. And I was like, ah, I see how it is. Don't worry. So yeah, I'm going to get him in a second. Hey guys, so I've got Chuck now. Say hi. <coughs> Crazy. Um, and what I'm doing currently is hot gluing flowers onto the basket that comes with my bike. So currently it looks like this. And I'm gonna hot glue flowers all over it so it looks completely different. And I'm gonna put you on a time lapse so you can watch the whole thing. It might turn out horrible, but who knows. So I've just finished, I think it looks really cute. Looks like this now. So pretty, it's kind of covered. I kind of went a little bit overboard, but I just love flowers. I think it looks really cute. And I don't know if you can see my bike, but it's just sitting out there, uh, waiting for me to figure out how to use it. Um, but yeah, I'm basically gonna just tidy now for the rest of the evening because I'm pretty sure you can tell that my house is a little bit of a mess. So all I'm gonna be doing is tidying, ignore Chuck. And then I'm gonna be, um, chilling and I need to wash my cloth because I've got chocolate on my face as well from eating pancakes earlier so Happy hey guys um, Chuck's just about to go to sleep now and so am I um, but I thought I'd end the vlog for today I'm just going to take my makeup off and then we're going to sleep <coughs> do you want to say goodnight? Yeah. say goodnight good night. Good night. say nicely good night. bye my kids <coughs> a nice one
He's hyper. He's got more energy than me at bedtime. And okay. I need this energy at just one point during my day to get my stuff done. He's got it all 24 hours of the day. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Well, tomorrow. But in like 30 seconds for you, so yeah. Bye bye. Hey guys. Um, so I've just woken up. Got Bentley lying here like this. He's so cute. There's Chuck. Um, I've got on camera it makes it look like I'm breaking out really bad, but I'm actually not. Um, but yeah, we've just woken up. I've been up for a little bit. He's just finally risen. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs, make me some cereal. Are you hungry yet? No, he's not hungry yet. Um, my house still isn't finished. Like, like it's not 100% tidy, which is irritating me. But we're getting there. I just had this box on says. Um, but yeah, making myself some cereal and then a cup of tea, maybe. And then we're going to do some work. Um, sorry, I was reading a text message. I probably look really stupid then. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening. That's what's happening. I guess some breakfast cereal for me. Chuck doesn't want any, so we'll do that in a little bit. Getting ready, and then that's that. Sorted. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit because I'm just tired and disheveled. And I look like this. Hey guys, it's quite a bit later on in the day now. Oh my god, I've got pins and needles in both my feet. Ah, I can't walk. I can't walk. I can't walk. Oh no. Pins and needles. Ah, so bad. Okay, right. I've almost made it. I'm trying to make it to my dressing table. Look how shiny I am. Oh my god. Okay, right. I've done it. I've done it. I've made it here. So. It's much later on, where's my seat? There it is. I couldn't find my seat at all then. It's much later on in the day. Uh, I'm gonna be 100% honest. Today has been and is still being a really bad mental health, mental health day for me. Uh, I've not been doing good today. Uh, probably a three out of 10, maybe less. Today has been rough. Have not enjoyed today at all. Still bad. And live rook. I don't know if you know who she is, you might do. Um, I I don't watch all of her videos, but I watch quite a few. And I've seen that she does like these anxiety bakes videos, which look pretty cool. Um, my hair is just a disgusting mess. I'm getting extensions next week, which I'm quite nervous about, but I love the cut of it. I'm really happy with like the cut and the color of it, but I'm going on a tangent. Um, she does these like anxiety bakes things and i am really suffering with my anxiety today and also my mood has been really down like really really down i'm not gonna say that i've been depressed because obviously i've been diagnosed with depression i've been put on medication for depression and i kind of know what that is uh personally if you ask me i don't think that you ever get rid of depression if you've had it once unless it's like a post is it postpartum or postnatal depression when you just had a baby, I think that's the only one that you won't get again or like relapse into. Um, from what I've seen, uh, obviously I've never had that so I can't fully comment. But from what I've seen, that seems like the only one where you don't just kind of keep falling back into the same things. Uh, but yeah, I think depression you kind of slip into over and over. My hair is really annoying me. Over and over, like your whole life, I don't think you'll ever just like, gone, never gonna suffer with this again. I don't think that happens, unless you're really lucky and you really get it, like know how to sort it out. But yeah, I think if you've had it, I get sweaty when I'm talking about this. I think if you've had it once, it just kind of never really goes away, which isn't good, like that's not fun. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try baking. I'm gonna make a cheesecake. Uh, 
and see how it goes because I'm not feeling fantastic. So I'm gonna go to Asda. I'm gonna buy like a cake tray and I'm gonna buy um, all the ingredients to make a cheesecake because my friend made one the other day and I was really looking forward to eating it and then it was disgusting. So I've been kind of devastated. I've been devastated every day since then because I was so looking forward to eating the cheesecake and it was just gross. It tastes like jelly because they oven baked it. Like who oven bakes a cheesecake? I hate oven baked cheesecakes. So I'm putting it in the fridge like you should. Don't make oven baked cheesecakes, it's gross. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be making Biscoff cheesecake. I've put you in a cupboard so I can, uh, oh my God, I'm so hot. I don't know why I'm even wearing this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make Biscoff cheesecake. Uh, sorry, my kitchen's a mess. I need to put that um, mover box in the bin. But yeah, Biscoff cheesecake is what I'm going for because my friend made some the other day and it was just absolutely horrendous. Like it was really bad. With a bag and some, a rolling pin. That's what we'll go with. lighting is absolutely horrendous let's go into the kitchen sorry you can't even see me um my phone died while i was making the cheesecake but i finished it i had a cold sore not too long ago and the scar just will not go like it's just still on my face but you ready to see the cheesecake i did a really good job i'm amazed at myself i'm i'm good at baking i'm not amazing at cooking but i'm really good at baking so i didn't expect this to go badly i expect it to go really good but this is it let me turn you around hold on this is the cheesecake. Obviously, it's not looking amazing right now. And it's not set at all. Like, it's still goopy. But it tastes delicious. Like, it tastes really, really good. It says to, like, do a layer of Biscoff spread over the top. But I'm not really feeling that at all, to be honest. Like, I'm just not feeling it at all. Because it's going to be really sickly with, like, the cheesecake and the Biscoff base and everything. So with the base and the topping being Biscoff, like, and all the cheesecake, it's too much. It's too much. I'll say in here while I talk. Um, so I'm just going to melt some Biscoff spread and then, like, drizzle it over the top with a spoon. I think it's going to look nicer. And, yeah, did I show you my bike thing when it was finished? I can't remember. It looks really cute, though. Um, but, yeah. I think I'm just going to drizzle it on instead of pouring it all over the top. But that's it for today's portion of the vlog. I'll talk to you tomorrow because all I'm doing now is just drinking wine and watching The Vampire Diaries. And that's not really entertaining. So I'll Hey talk guys, so I just realised that I didn't finish the vlog. Um, please excuse how horrendous I look. I've been decorating my friend's house. Baby, shush a second. I've been decorating my friend's house as a surprise because he's on holiday and I've been dog sitting. Um, so I've just been redecorating the house as a surprise. And I've got Chuck right now, that's what all the noise is. And I thought I'd end the vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Fingers crossed you did. If you did, and this like, if this gets like a thumbs up and like loads of comments and like views and stuff, then I'll know you guys have liked it and I'll definitely vlog again, but I'm not sure how this is gonna go down. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and um thank you so much to Desenio for sponsoring this video because i absolutely i love your stuff like just look at my bedroom i love it um i'm literally about to go on there and order some more stuff because i've got an addiction um to possibly go up my stairs um so yeah you can use the discount code i think it's just victoria underwood i'll check for you yeah you can use the discount code victoria e underwood for 25 percent off posters and that is only valid from today, the day this goes live on the 26th, 
to August 30th. So definitely check it out. Um, so yeah, hope you guys do take advantage of that because that's a pretty big discount code and I absolutely love their stuff. But I'm going to go now because I need to finish editing this and then I need to go shower because look at me, I look homeless. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching um, and I'll see you soon.